This is for Cameron. Uh, this is for describing end behavior of polynomial functions. When you're describing the end behavior for a polynomial function, you have basically four options. Well, you have four options. Um, the degree can be even, so n even, and the leading coefficient positive. Then you have a situation like this. If n is even, and the, the leading coefficient is negative, then you have a situation like this. So what's happening here? Well, as x grows bigger and bigger and bigger, y is growing bigger and bigger and bigger. So as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. And as x approaches negative infinity, what's happening? As x gets smaller and smaller and smaller, f of x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So we say f of x approaches infinity. And that's when your degree is even and your leading coefficient is positive. If your degree is even, your leading coefficient is negative, you have something that looks like this, the end behavior. So as x grows towards infinity, f of x goes to negative infinity, gets smaller and smaller. And as x gets smaller and smaller, f of x gets smaller and smaller. As you can see, x getting smaller and smaller, y getting smaller and smaller. These bottom two represent the degree being odd, and this one, leading coefficient positive. Here the degree is odd, and leading coefficient negative. So what's happening here is x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, y is getting bigger and bigger, so as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity, and as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. As x gets smaller and smaller, y gets smaller and smaller. Here, as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity, and as x goes to negative infinity, y is getting bigger, so f of x approaches infinity. So these four things you just have to commit to memory, and then you'll be able to describe the end behavior of any polynomial function. Um, that's very, very helpful when you're trying to graph polynomial functions by hand. Because graphing polynomial functions by hand isn't quite as easy as graphing a linear function by hand or a quadratic function by hand. You have to know more about what's going on in the graph. So the end behavior is definitely one of those things. So let's look at a couple of examples. Maybe you have two functions. One is f of x is equal to negative 3x to the fifth plus 5x squared minus 1. And maybe you have f of x is equal to x to the sixth power plus 3x to the fifth minus 2x squared plus x plus 1. So the only two things you're concerned about is what's the degree, is the degree odd or even, and is the leading coefficient positive or negative. And then you'll have one of those four options that we just talked about. So here, the degree is odd, the degree is 5, so it's odd, and the leading coefficient is negative. So we have to refer back to those four options. The graph is going to look something like degree is odd, negative, so it looks something like this. Not exactly, but some transformation of, of that. So to describe the end behavior here, as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches infinity. The second one here, the degree is odd, and the leading coefficient is 1, that's positive, so 
A sub n is positive. So it looks something like, oh, excuse me, this is, this is even. 6 is obviously even. So the graph looks something like this. So the end behavior as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity, and as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches infinity. So you just have to commit those four options to your memory. Okay?